Hey everybody, welcome back to New Stuff TV, the untechnical tech channel, and your home for the best infotainment on YouTube, baby. I'm your host, Antoine. Stick them in my ear holes and let me get my jam on Richardson, because today we're gonna be talking about some new stuff from Theaton. But before I get into them, let me explain my first product I ever got from that company, man. It was the Legacy 900s. They were active noise cancellation headphones, remarkable headphones. They had this nice carbon fiber design on the ear cups, great noise cancellation and great sound for music. But now they've got the Bono Buds and the Bono Buds Light. Now don't let that word light fool you because this is actually the more premium earbud in my opinion. Let's start things out with the original Bono Buds. They come in this pill style of case, which is actually one of my favorite style of cases because it slides in your pocket, doesn't catch on anything and it's not too big and eye catching. Therefore, people don't think you got something going on there in your pants, homie. But once you open it up, you're presented with the Bono Buds themselves. They have a unique design. I'll take them out just for a second, but then I'm gonna put them back in because I'm still talking about this case. Now you get six hours of battery life with the Buds uh, independently. Uh, but once you put them in the case, you can charge them up and then you'll get a combined 20 hours of battery life out of these things. And yes, I did say the word independently because you can use them independently uh, in mono mode if you want to. So that means you can just stick one of them in your ear and then get your jam on, take some calls or whatever. And then once this one dies, or if you just don't need it anymore, you can put it in the case and then put the left one in your ear and use that one independently. Same thing goes for the Bono Buds light. But as I said, they do have quite a unique design. It's almost like a corkscrew that kind of goes into your ear. So once you find that correct ear tip, because that is always going to be important when it comes to the case of True Wireless Earbuds, you got to find that correct ear tip, whether you're going to be a small in one ear and a medium in the next ear or a large or whatever, always find that correct fit. Because once you get them in your ear, you're gonna let me make sure I got it right. Get that thing in the ear, twist it forward a little bit, then rock it in there. Yeah, there you go. You gotta kind of core screw it in there. Then you get them in, man. You got them in there and then you're ready to get your jam on. They do fit comfortably. I guess that's part of that core screw design they have, but they don't stick out or make you look silly like you got, you know, like the Frankenstein bolts coming out of your head or anything like that. Very comfortable fit, very lightweight and they don't kind of push your ears open and make you you know, have some discomfort after a while. But the most important thing when it comes to earbuds is I would say lifestyle features, ease of use, and of course the sound. So let's get into the lifestyle features. Uh, I would say that is where, hmm, I don't know, man, I wish they had volume controls. They do not have volume controls, but they got pretty much everything else because if you tap and hold right here, you can go into yeah, ambient mode. You just tap and hold on that right ear. Then if you tap and hold again, you got noise canceling on. Now the noise canceling is pretty moderate. And then if you jump over there to the left ear button, press and hold, you get your voice assistant and then you can actually do your calls and stuff like that. But as far as uh, music controls, they have four track, backtrack and play and pause on either earbud. And that's because you can use them independently and they want to mirror that, that action on each earbud. Now we'll get into one of my favorite things to talk about, the sound quality. Now these don't come with an app, but they do come EQ'd bass heavy, but it's not muddy. It's a nice clean sound. I don't know how they do this, man. Th these earbuds are super punchy. I'm talking about Mike Tyson in the late eighties, uppercut punchy, man. They just kind of, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> these things are mega punchy when it comes to the bass, but the clarity is still there. They managed to do a good job EQ in these because I guess they don't give you an option to EQ them unless you go into your phone's EQ settings and do it that way. But right Right off the bat, they sound pretty dang on good, man. Like I said, if you like bass, these are definitely gonna be the ones for you because they have that extra punchy bass, but they still maintain their clarity and their, their mid-tones are good too. So as far as overall ease of use, battery life, comfort, and music quality, I'm gonna go ahead and say the Bono Buds are a solid and punchy set of earbuds. But now let's move on to something just a tad more premium in the Bono Buds Light. Now that can be kind of confusing with that name, Light, because usually they strip things down when they want to call it light because it's light. <laughs> but not in this case, man. These are actually the heavyweights of the bunch. But they do have a slightly different shape and design. Now the case is pretty much the same, although it does have a flat top. 
as the other one has a more rounded top, but it's still got that pill shape. On the back side, you can see that USB-C charging port where you can charge the case up and then get your full battery life on here. Now, once you open these up and pull out the earbuds, you're gonna get 11 hours of battery life. That's crazy, man. 11 hours of battery life on your earbuds. They do work independently, so you can use one without the other and then swap them around if you want to. But either way, you're getting 11 hours out of your earbuds. Combine that with the case. Uh, after you've charged it a couple of times, you're going to combine 28 hours out of the uh, out of the Bono Buds light. Now, when it comes to the shape of the earbud, you do get something a little more traditional in this shape. There's your ear tip right there. Once again, make sure you always get the proper fit by just kind of playing around with the ones that they give you to try on. But I do like this. It just looks and feels a little bit more premium when it comes to this shape. Once you stick them in your ears, you're immediately greeted with comfort. You really don't have to twist them or anything. You just kind of plop them in there and they just sit on the pocket of your ear well, which is very comfortable for me. They feel, I mean, the other ones feel great. The Bono Buds feel fantastic, but these just kind of plop in there without any other adjustments. They just sit where they're supposed to go. At least they do in my ears. So comfort, top notch. Now, when it comes to features and stuff, it's pretty much the same as the Bono Buds. You tap and hold right here to get your ambient sound. That's your ambient mode. But even though when you tap and hold again, it says ambient off, it kind of feels and sounds like noise canceling, but it just says ambient off. So these don't really seem to tell you that there's noise canceling happening, but I feel like there's noise cancellation happening. I don't know, man, it could be me, but it's pretty doggone quiet in here right now because I feel like I'm getting some active uh, noise cancellation, but they don't, it doesn't say on the box. No, it just says ambient mode, yeah but it feels like noise cancellation. All right, uh, since I got the box in my hand, we got IPX4 water resistance. So you can work out in these things and you know get your sweat on if you want to. But um, as far as the lifestyle features go, so you tap and hold on that side, on the right hand side to get your ambient sound and maybe some noise canceling, maybe, I don't know. But then you can press or you can, you can tap, a single tap for your play and pause and then a double tap for forward tracks and a triple tap for your reverse tracks. And that mirrors on the right ear or the left earbud. That way, like I said before, you can use them independently and you don't have to worry about remembering which one is which or missing out on features because you actually uh, took one earbud out. On the left earbud though, that's reserved for your Google Assistant or your voice assistant. So if you tap and hold that one, uh, that's going to activate your voice assistant. But now we get to the part that I really like. Well, yeah, let's talk about that right now. I know the guy in the back is sitting there wondering, man, you sitting there tapping your foot, just wondering what the answer to that question is. Oh, the new guy. The new guy doesn't know what the question is, man. Everybody tell him what the question is. But do they jam now? 2 a.m. I was all alone. Lamborghini truck in the yeah, buddy, they do jam. I really do like the way these things sound, but the best part about the sound is they do come app connected. So I downloaded the app, tried out my EQ and everything, but let's go ahead and dig in here real quick just to see what you're getting with the app. Okay, so on the home page of the app, you can see there you got a nice crisp picture of your Bono Buds light. Then you got your battery percentages there. Then you got your ambient button here at the bottom left. You can see here that my ambient sound is actively on because I need to be hearing stuff around me. And then I got my EQ button right there. And that's what I want to get into. Now, once it shows us what the EQ is at, it actually comes flat. It, it comes with a flat EQ. I've kind of boosted mine a little bit. I kind of bumped up those highs and the mid range a little bit. Then I tweaked the bass just a little bit. These already come pretty bass heavy, but I just wanted that extra thump because these are not as punchy out of the box as the original Bono Buds. So I just wanted that extra punch because I felt it and I was like, man, I want that punch back. <laughs> so I bumped up the bass a little bit, but you got your lows, your mids and the highs there. And of course you can save some custom EQs if you want to there. So that's all you're gonna get in the app. And that's really all you need because everything can be done on the earbuds. Once you got that, uh, that EQ set to your liking, everything else is uh, done via the earbuds, whether it be the ambient sound slash active noise canceling that it doesn't have, but it really does have. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can answer and end your calls and stuff like that. And then you got your play and pause and your forward and back tracks on both earbuds, which, which I really like. I like being able to do all those controls on either earbud. That way you don't have to remember. And especially if you're just using one in your ear at a time, because I like to just pop one in a lot and just have one in my ear walking around the house and stuff like that. I can still hear everything that's going on and then I can just have my music playing or talk to someone on the other line, which is something I need to test out real quick, man. Let's let's go ahead and uh, let's, let's, 
Let's test out the audio quality on these things real quick, man. Let me let me get my little voice recorder going. Let's see here. Hold on, man. Hold on. Hold on. I got to test this out for you guys. All right. So this is going to be a test of what it sounds like if I was calling you, right? And I'm talking on my Bono Buzz mic and you're on your phone. This is kind of a test of what it's going to sound like. So hopefully it sounds good because I actually really like these earbuds and I would hate to have to keep repeating myself on the phone if we were talking. But just in case it doesn't sound good, I'm going to end that sample right there. All right, so guys, that is the Bono Buds and the Bono Buds Light. What do you guys think, man? Is this something you're going to be looking into in the near future when it comes time for you to get you some new true wireless earbuds? I think both of them are super solid. Really, really punchy bass when you're talking about the Bono Buds. And then you got the extra added features with the app and stuff like that with the Bono Buds Light. And they're just a, a little bit more premium. And they got that super long battery life. Look, I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff. But what I do know is... True wireless earbuds, man. I, I've tested a lot of true wireless earbuds and these are solid, baby. Now it's time for me to get on up out of here, but before I do, I wanna tell y'all to keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you.